I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 11th of September, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we're going to be starting from the campus at UCC and heading south into the Reparto just south of us. This is a whole part of the city that we've never seen before. We have the Barrio of Guadalupe is just up there. We're actually in the edge of it. So this is the UCC campus. And in a second, we're going to walk through a couple of the college campuses here or along them at least and head into one of the southern Repartos and see just a whole like very, very uh, countryside uh, version of the south of the city. We see the west of that stuff all the time. So we're going to get to that right after the bump. It is a bright and sunny day today. I'm recording this on a Saturday and it is a beautiful day. Very hot, very bright, but it's a gorgeous day. And I, I actually am like a little bit caught up on the show and doing well and really excited that I have some time to actually get out and do some things. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of a uh, context of where we are. If you're gonna look down this street right here at the end of the street, I hope you can see it on the video. There is a wall there. That is the Southern wall of the Cemetery of Guadalupe. So that's more or less the end of the Barrio of Guadalupe. I think technically the universities that were standing at are in Guadalupe, but they may not be where the lines are. And some of these things are not always super precise. Uh, but so this area over here is the campus of UCC, which is currently closed. So it makes it uh, a really handy spot to park and start the day. Uh, so it's uh, it's relatively quiet out here. There's, a, there's actually a large number of people out on the street in this area, which for those of us who live like farther north in the city or farther west, this part of the city is actually like forgotten about. Like you really don't realize it's even here. And it's like, well, what goes on there? Nothing, there's no restaurants, no activities, no one ever goes there. There's like this barrier in the city that you never cross, basically the cemetery. And so uh, the, the northern side of the cemetery we spend a lot of time at, like it's just a normal part of the city where we come and go and it touches Fundesi and it's in the middle of Guadalupe. It's like big things. But down here, all that drops off. And so if you if you live in the city, I think, uh, I think most people get this feeling like this area, like what's down there? I don't even know, right? Like it's just, I don't know. This, there's sometimes there's stuff in the south. So this is the UCC campus extending on this side. But well, now we have this unbelievably large ditch. Let me show how big this is. It's absolutely crazy. But then on this side, and I can't get over there, there's a, there's a fence and a road. So this is an actually a walled off campus over there. That is the campus of Unan in Leon. Uh, but it is specifically, this portion of it is the faculty of medical sciences. This is where you come if you wanna be a nurse or a doctor. Uh, you are likely to study here. This is one of the really big schools for that in the area. Uh, and this is a big, beautiful campus. There's a lot of people over there. There's a lot going on. Of course, this is a holiday week here. It's the week of Patria, which is like the, the Independence Day week, more or less. There's two, there's, there's the big one. Uh, where they uh, freed the country from U.S. occupation in, Ju in July, and uh, we've already celebrated that. And then this week is uh, September 14th, of course, Battle of San Jacinto, where they defeated U.S. forces long ago. And I believe September 15th is the independence from, uh, from Mexico. So lots of, as a country that's been occupied and colonized, and there's multiple days of independence. Uh, so you kind of have to keep track of it all. And it's a big celebration because they're always very proud of being able to maintain uh, freedom and independence here. So it's a big part of the year. It's a big part of the celebrations. So all that said, so we're here, UCC and Unan, Guadalupe behind me. I'm going to turn around. So all this is beautiful paved, big walls, nice, nice trees. Like this is, I really hope you can see just how gorgeous this campus is. Like it's really quite nice. And then if we're going to head down this way, the road's going to turn to dirt right there. We're heading into the Reparto. So that's the direction we're starting. We've never been down there. So all completely new. And uh, we're going to go check it out. And just so you guys know what we're doing, we're filming today in 4K on the GoPro 9. We've got the, because it's so bright and I remembered, I actually had a little bit of time to prep today because uh, I don't normally drive out to do these kind of tours. I often come out on foot. And so we're doing things within a reasonable walking distance of the house. Uh, but uh, today I drove out, I had everything packed. I actually put the uh, polarizing filter on the lens. So hopefully we're gonna get a little bit better color, a little just, it's gonna look a little bit better today, I hope. But we're only filming in 4K, not 5K, because it's hot and I know the camera's going to overheat. Now, before we go anywhere, we're gonna start by just turning around and showing this. So again, UCC is right there, we walked just a little bit, but check out this building that's obviously abandoned now. I don't know how long UCC has been closed, a week, a year, 10 years, I have no idea. Uh, but this is a, this is part of the university zone, so this whole area is full of unis. 
uh, but Unan being the big one for sure. That is a really cool building that clearly used to be like an, an entrance, like a security hut and the entrance maybe to another part of UCC or maybe another university. They're really closely packed down here, so that's completely reasonable that it was another one. Maybe on a map we'll figure out where this was, but I doubt it. So let's bring up a map real quickly before we head off into the shadows. Well, I'm gonna step into the shadows while we bring up the map because it's a little bit warm out here, but uh, I want you guys to see where we're at, where we're starting and what we're heading into. And then uh, we're gonna show you this beautiful tree-lined street. It's a gorgeous street coming along the campuses here, uh, but it is dirt road and there is a lot of trash, which is of course very sad. We hate seeing that, but that is again, something that the country is starting to work on, but it is early days. Okay, we are heading into, now that we're on the dirt road, we're in Reparto Mercedes Varelas. I'm gonna write that down. So just in case I'm mispronouncing it, uh, but as we walk along, I think it's just UCC on the right. You can see bits of Unan over here. And it's interesting because it's behind a wall. So this area in the Reparto is very kind of wildernessy, right? And that just across this ditch is a big university with lots going on. So it makes for a really interesting spot overall. I'm, I'm amazed by like what it looks like and uh, how it fits into the community. So the universities down here actually make this a potentially pretty lively area. There are so many students here in Leon that uh, it's just overall quite interesting, but that there's a reparto down here on the side is really something unexpected. Now I wanna show some, you know, we're, we just got the university wall over there, but over here we're starting to see houses now uh, because we're actually getting into the reparto. This is one that uh, it does show up on maps. So if you're looking at Google maps, you can see uh, the reparto Mercedes Varelis, but uh, you have to really search for it. And it's just south of Guadalupe. And uh, a lot that are like this don't show up on the maps. Like Veracruz does not show up on any Google Maps. Why some get put in and some don't, I have no idea. Uh, but this area looked a little bit interesting. From a satellite view, it looked like this was very, very sparsely populated and it's, it's definitely not deep city by any stretch. Having the university wall right here, show you again, this is what we're walking past. It's just solid wall. Here, little tiny dirt road, little dog coming to see me but it seems like there might be some pretty nice stuff here. Like check this place out. That is a big wall and a nice gate. What's behind it? We have no idea, but certainly not a little tiny house. So maybe this area, while being kind of dusty and remote, might be a spot that has some interesting things that we just can't see that well. You can imagine that if you were a professor or uh, administration or something and you worked at one of the many universities in this zone you may want a little bit more of a country house and find that this reparto may meet your needs because you're walking distance to campus can live in a really beautiful area having the campus across the street means you've got you know a lot of safety there's a lot of security down here um, there's a lot going on even though there aren't really restaurants and stuff and actually, as I walk, this is pretty encouraging. Check these places out. Not what I was expecting at all. These places are, they're on the fancy side. And we have a road here. Oh, I'm gonna turn around to show from where we are. We're gonna keep walking straight, which is south, but I want you to see this. Like this is not what I was expecting, but it is all dirt roads down here, so. You know, and that's really okay. It's not a big deal to have dirt roads because it's just a bedroom community. So, so far all these houses, quite decent. Uh, you know, you're gonna be driving really slow. This is almost like your driveway down here. Uh, it's paved as you come past the universities, then dirt here. So that wouldn't be a problem at all. Just got trees and stuff on the other side, so there's nothing to show. Nothing to show there. So this is quite interesting. Off on my left, so that way that I'm kind of looking. So behind you, there is actually, that's where the highway is. There's a bit between here and there, like the, the new stadium is in between. The side road, big orange wall down there. I think you can see it. These people built a bridge. so they can get to their house more easily. 
Interesting. All right, we're getting into smaller places now. Who would have guessed? I mean, logically, you know, if you're really, if you're really thinking about the light is definitely better for me on this side, but then you just get these trees. Look at these nice trees. I mean, it's nice. Uh, logically, if you were thinking, is there going to be something south of the city? Is there going to be something near the universities? Of course, people would just be like, well, of course there is. Why would it, why would it drop off to nothing? If you're close to things, you're going to want to live nearby to where things are nice, right? That just makes sense. But this area of the city is just inaccessible enough, just remote enough, just odd enough that coming from the other parts of the city, like honestly, I don't know anyone who knows this is here. Either you live here and you know it, or you don't live here and you have no idea it's here. Whatever that is, it's fancy. I mean, it just looks like a house, but it looks like a, a pretty nice house behind a really nice wall there. Now over here, this looks like a house that was never finished. It doesn't look like it ever got a roof. Sometimes they've lost a roof and they're old, but normally I think they're new and it never went on. You can see this one a little bit better now. This is definitely not a bad neighborhood. This is, uh, you know, I'm willing to bet there's no expats down here. Like, that would be pretty wild. But this is interesting. Interesting for sure. Good idea, guys. Go out for a walk, find new areas. All right, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna magically warp down a bit. We've got a long, dusty road in front of us. So let's head down there. We'll bring you guys back when we find something interesting. Here's another place that seemingly disappeared right there. This place has a lot of open space. The advantage to being down in an area like this is you're really, I mean, let's be serious, you're really close to the city, but it's gotta be really easy to get a lot of open space. I mean, I mean, look at this. Like it's, it's mostly undeveloped. And I can tell you just on the other side of those trees and stuff are fields, like big open fields. Some of them are for sale, like, I don't know, dozens or scores of acreage. So, uh, this is, we're, we're in a part of the city that's starting to blend into farm country. And this is like, I mean, you'll see it on the map, right? There's the Carretera over there, the highway heading to Managua. Then there's fields. And then there's this little piece of two repartos hiding down here. And uh, it's really interesting, I think, uh, the way that there's like this, this gap in between things. But everything's so close that it's not like the United States where there would be like giant countrysides in between one village and the next. Here it's like they're hidden just beyond a field and you have no idea it's there. All right, we're a little bit beyond sight of where we were in the last clip and uh, it's actually pretty busy. There's a lot of people out. It's very lively. I'll point out that we got some nice houses here like and some like I think new construction, current construction. It's hard to say. So this area like a lot of places right but it's always always surprising I think to American audiences especially how much there are pretty nice houses that are modern and new um, and would be very, very comfortable and, and maybe not something that most Americans are looking for, but certainly good enough that an American would be like, okay, okay, I can do that. All right, just showing you a little bit of where we are. And mixed in with extremely poor side by side, cheek by jowl. And then, then there's like the in-betweens that make sense, right? Like this really cute little, see if you can see it, kind of storybook little place nestled into a wooded area. Oh, this is interesting. We might have to go down that path in just a little bit. That looks like it's hard to point on the camera. There we go. Uh, and then this place. What? Why is it gated? Where does it go? Inquiring minds. So the the like fancy house and sometimes a couple in a row mixed in with like like actually just just a little bit before that i try not to show these too much i don't want to hide them oh look no there's a the thing 
that was that's the same place of the gate as far as i can tell uh hidden so like you'll, so there's you know i try not to show too much like the shanties there are some places that are really poor However, I do want to point out that, and, and people will say, you know, it's, it's sometimes dangerous to walk through these kinds of areas. I'm obviously an extra in Harrow, a foreigner. I am carrying a camera. I'm on my own. Oh, there's stuff back here too. Hold on. These, some of these have some potential. I'm not saying that they're like nice places. I'm saying they could be nice places. I can't tell from here. Um, and I'm carrying a camera. I really stand out. I'm, I'm obviously alone. Uh, it's it's really not dangerous, right? That th those worries are extremely overblown. It's very silly. It is not like that at all. Um, you know, and I'm out here. I see people in the. And there's tons of people in their yards. Like the community is out. There's people making tortillas on the street. Okay, now we can see a little bit more of this. I'm going to talk in a second. And there's people back there. So this is not abandoned. It's just overgrown. Um, People are very friendly. People say hi to me. People are very interested that I'm out filming. Um, these guys are looking at me because I'm talking right here. But you can kind of see the house now or whatever it is. Some of these things are like dorms or apartments because remember, universities right there. So if you, if those universities were in full swing, I wouldn't do this now. You'd be, you'd be really foolish. I'm just kicking leaves as I walk by accident. Uh, it, much like where uh, I was just talking recently that we have an apartment in in San Mateo that's going to be available for short-term rental for expats real soon, but it's in an area that also has a lot of universities, at, like La Salle. And uh, that area is popular to have student housing, um, both public and private, because if you're coming from somewhere, you're going to a private school, you may want to pay for just, a, you know, maybe a small place, but a little bit nicer or more flexible. You don't want to have the same uh, curfews as other people. I have no idea how it works, but it's popular to have student and, and teacher housing nearby to university. So this area, I would assume, is the same uh, that some people have invested in private um, dorms because there are dorms on the campus, at least on Unan. I've seen a lot of them. Now, I have no idea what this is, but this is a big gated wall over here. But on this side, we're like jungle and we're gonna be in fields here in just a minute. So you'll get a much better feel for where we are, how we kind of fit into the Leon bigger picture. Uh, but I assume a bit of this, by the way, the smell here is great. It's like all these like flowers and, and like wild plants. We're far enough out of the city. There's, there's like no city smells at all. It's all, all beautiful, wild, open stuff, but more than I usually get. Often when I'm out and like, you see me in the countryside, other places, it's like, whatever, I'm just out in the country, uh, but hola. Okay. That goes along with what I was saying. Uh, so that guy just stopped to tell me that I really don't belong here and that it's very dangerous people, but not, not because people are gonna do something to me because they will uh, grab my camera, right? Everyone always sees the camera and says, people are gonna grab your camera. I'm like, okay, like it's a risk, but it's not a very big one. I wanna show this place. Very conservative small house, but beautiful little path and like nice color. Like clearly it's an old, very small place, but they've done some stuff with it that is uh, looking interesting. Like there's there's potential out here. Okay, I'm walking through a, uh, wow. <laughs> I just slipped into a dry ditch. Um, okay. I love doing everything on camera. So every stupid thing I ever do is recorded. And of course I'm not gonna edit that out because it's funny. Okay, so I think we can't actually see the highway from here, but I think we can see uh, really close to it. So this is a huge open field in the area that we're in. I'm gonna extend the camera a little bit so I can get a good shot of it. And uh, uh, this just gives you an idea of what these houses are against. So this area is very quiet. I'm definitely out, you know, in fields and very, very rural. And of the houses that are here, a lot of them are empty. So. It's not even that dense. For example, we're gonna come across this one and it is obviously not finished. You can tell this one never got made into anything. Like it started and as is common, people were investing and then things went badly, um, whether individually uh, on a personal level or on a community level, but you end up with pretty sizable empty structures uh, that, you know, in theory, there's a lot of these are for sale or, you know, not intentionally. Like if you found the owner, you could buy them. They'd be happy to unload them because they've put so much money in and they don't have a roof. They're completely unusable. Uh, and these could be a really good cheap start on something quite nice. Like this place is very large. This is a big structure. I mean, it's not grandiose, but there's a lot here. Nice plot of land could be a great spot. 
if anything speaks to my confidence level with going out and being on my own in the places that I go, it is how much I actually leave my camera completely unattended so that I can get some of the shots that we do. Uh, shots like this, I'm obviously standing here with the camera. Sometimes I'm holding it, sometimes I'm not. When I'm not holding it, sometimes I'm a little ways away. Someone could, in theory, uh, kind of grab it and go. I mean, I would see them coming. But in other shots, sometimes I'm pretty far away from the camera, uh, and I just leave it and I go down the street. Like, I'm trying not to be stupid about it. I don't do it when there's lots of people around. I don't do it when there's obviously someone who could grab it, but I do take some chances with the camera at times, and it's important because that's how we get some of the good footage. But, uh, but it is true that I, I sometimes walk away from the camera uh, and it's just part of part of doing the show and it's part of the risks that we take. I know that someone grabbing the camera is a potential risk, but if you're looking at places that you would want to live or travel, it's important to see that this really is incredibly safe and the risk that people perceive for me is that I'm being stupid with an expensive item that someone could grab very easily. That is absolutely true. I do this every day. No one's ever tried to grab it before. That is going to happen. At some point, my camera is going to be lost. And that's just part of the game, right? I know that that's going to happen. So I've planned for that. I have three GoPros now. I constantly have extra ones partially for this reason. If I'm in a place where I'm more likely to have that happen, we're on the GoPro 9 today instead of the 11. So, you know, I take some amount of precaution, but I also just estimate that this is part of the cost of doing the projects that we do. Uh, but it really does seem to be just a perceived risk, not necessarily a real risk, as is with many of the things here. People are very uh, critical of other Nicaraguense, and in practice, uh, the things that they seem to be afraid of don't really seem to play out. I do want to point out there is a beautiful view of a volcano. It'll be way too far away uh, to show on the GoPro, but through the trees where I'm standing, there is, I believe it's Talika, uh, rising above the trees right across the field. It is a gorgeous view. I wish I had a telephoto lens. I'd get some really good shots for you guys. I will pull out the iPhone. Uh, no one said if they liked me doing the photos as part of the show uh, from a few days ago, but it was interesting interesting, right? It gives me something to uh, to talk about. You'll never be able to see the volcano as I say this. It is so small, even in a photo in the distance. It is absolutely tiny, but we got a shot. We'll share it with you. We're going to continue on. So this direction is to the south. We are past the bottom of the Reparto, so it really is just dirt roads and some fields. There'll be a smattering of houses. There is nothing major as you head out that way. It goes into the wilderness, so we're going to head north again because we went down the west side of the Reparto, so we're going to head up and go across the southern edge and up the eastern side now to get a feel for what it's like. Okay, this is the road road going across the bottom of the Reparto. So we're going to head down this way. This is heading east. We're at the southwest corner. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. See, people are very friendly out here. And the, not the first person who's come by just while I'm here and said hello. So we're going to head east across this towards the Carretera. So it's a little bit more northeast. But I think of it as east from kind of the way it lays. And uh, we're going to see what it's like down there. Boy, is it hot today. I knew it was hot when I was coming out. Honestly, I really enjoy hot days uh, going for a walk. It's just a little bit tough because uh, you do get really sweaty. But I, I plan for it. I don't have anything I have to go do today. It doesn't matter that I'm going to get worn out. I really enjoy the exercise. It's one of those things I say a bit when you live here all the time, you start to really enjoy the heat. Uh, and that's true anytime that you're... Adio! Uh, when you live in, in places like this, when you're getting out and exercising, you actually want that heat. Maybe not the sun if you're going to burn, but I've said this before, I'd never burn here. I'm not recommending that other people go without sunscreen or anything of the sort. But I never burn. I never put on sunscreen. I'm outside tons during the day. I do put on a hat. I have no hair, right? So I'm very exposed up there uh, and very delicate. But beyond that, the rest of me, I'm in the sun all the time. Adio! And uh, I really don't have uh, problems with the sun. Never. Like, I never burn. I never anything. Um, I just get warm. And, uh, and when you're out, like, walking like this, it's kind of pleasant to, like, work up a sweat, get a real exercise and everything. So I'm happy to do so. We're going to head down this path, see what we find. He say hola. 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 <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> para para ver. Mm -hmm. Que es oh, sí? Un momento. All right, I have to follow them. They're taking me somewhere. Uh, I just wanted to show this beautiful field and this like really interesting house I came upon right here, but I got to go. Okay. Vámonos.
Hola. Gracias. Hola. Hola. Adiós. We have a really cute little area here, and I'm going to show one of the roads going through the middle of the reparto. It is long and dusty and small. Hola. And uh, we're about halfway through along the southern edge right now, I believe. A lot of small shops on this side, like pulperias, and then on this side, we actually have a fence along here. I have no idea. There's some homes in there, but I don't know what makes it fenced off like this compared to other places. There's actually a you know, brick wall along the bottom. Relatively heavy duty here. And then it's just this thin line of homes here and a field on the other side of them. So they all back up against the field, which is really nice to get lots of air and nice view out the back. The road's a little bit messy here. I have to walk through. All right. And then in the midst of one style, we get Oh, that is a cute little puppy in there sleeping on the porch. You can still see, hola. You can still see the fields right through. I like when they do these deep gardens or whatever, right in front. Thanks for really, hola. Hola. Como esta? Bien, tu? Bien, gracias. And, uh, it's a nice area, very quiet out here. Hola! <laughs> As everywhere here, everyone is outside. Oh, look at this. That is a big gate and a big wall. And where does it go? I don't know. It's just a path through the weeds, a little bit interesting. I can see the end of the road right in front of us, We're heading up there. Hola. And uh, it is warm out here in the sun. Got some horses here. Woman singing to her children out in the field. What a nice day for a walk. <laughs> People waving to me from way over there. All right, here we are, we're coming up on the edge. Oh, and what is this? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see as we pop out. I don't know what we're gonna find. It's all new for me too. All right, so this is north. You can see a bunch of dogs in the road, I think. Maybe, yeah, there you go, you can see them. And then the road curves around here. We're gonna check that on a map in a second. We're gonna come out into this field though, because we've got beautiful open view. I know exactly where we are. This field is actually for sale, I've seen the sign. And uh, what a cool spot. Oh, I'm glad we came out here, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna flip this over to 5K and get some decent shots, but Beautiful volcanoes in the distance, beautiful field. You can just see the traffic out on the carretera. So this is open to the highway. And in this direction, kind of north, more volcanoes and you can see the stadium. So this this spot is is beautiful. I don't know that it's valuable because you're, you, like the views are nice, but you're too far from anything. But it's got some great trees out in the field. It is a beautiful field on its own. The hedgerow is beautiful. And the things, like all the volcanoes, oh, it's fantastic. This really is, I mean, this is an amazing, 
spot. You know, I say this all the time. I love fields. I love being out in the country. I love this where you have like fields with views of stuff. Oh, amazing. I want to point out that the big white building over there is actually the Leon City Judicial Complex. Uh, so that is if you had to go to municipal court for something like a speeding ticket or something, that's where you'd have to go. All right, I look to the south and that road goes nowhere. It's just a, a little field... Uh, field road uh, going to more fields and not for very far. But one of the guys that said hello to us just a few minutes ago as we were coming through the neighborhood, so I'm going to head north now, so we're going back along the east side of the Reparto, uh, he said this field that we were just looking at is mani or peanuts, uh, which is a really major crop here even though we don't make peanut butter in the country. I'm sure somebody has made peanut butter at some point, but I'm not aware of any. Uh, I've never seen any peanut butter made in the country, but growing peanuts is a major industry here. You see fields of it all over the country and it's beautiful. So a along with things like uh, plantains and rice, and of course, sugar. Uh, peanuts are a major crop here. Peanuts really make for beautiful fields. So you see a lot in this region around Leon. We have been to many places uh, on visits that have turned out to be uh, peanut farms, uh, and they really do. It's one of my favorite field crops because it's just this large, oh, there he is. We're gonna show him going along the field. It is large expanses of just beautiful green carpeting uh, in the peanut fields. Now from where we are, we can turn around and see another one of the roads going through the middle of the Reparto. But we don't have to go through every single street. We have a really good idea of what it's like based on seeing the edges. Now there's a bit of water in the road up here. It's been pretty dry, so it's not, it's not like it's from rain. Something leaked and caused this. I think we're actually gonna go into the field to get around this show. This is the road. So we're just gonna pop into the peanut field and uh, work our way around. Days like this, I really wish I had a more telephoto lens or just a normal lens on the GoPro. Something that does like a 50 millimeter, even a 40 millimeter equivalent would do an amazing shot of the stadium out there. As it is, it is absolutely tiny, but standing here, it's not that far away. And if we had like a decent telephoto or just a normal lens, uh, you'd be like, wow, that's really cool looking. Uh, this is where I wish I was carrying around more cameras, but it's hot. It's hard enough to carry around one GoPro and keep it cool and have batteries and stuff like it. It gets a little bit complicated, but they just made a lens adjustment for it that allowed me to switch things out or something and grab in good quality uh, the stadium out there. It would be like, wow, that's so cool. So a lot of times I miss those shots and uh, you know, Part of it is just things I have to live with working with a GoPro and being practical because I'm out walking around. And, you know, as we talked about just a little bit ago, it's easy to have a lot of gear and become a target and someone just snatch your stuff because you're not paying attention. The more you have, the more at risk you are. Both it's easier to snatch and you have more to snatch. Uh, with the GoPro, I, I really am able to keep it pretty protected, even standing out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but and I am right next to the road. People were bicycling by and looking right at me as I filmed this. So it's not like I'm actually remote, but uh, it's it's a beautiful spot. There's a lot of shots that I do miss. I wish I had a crew walking with me and they could pull out, you know, my Olympus and we could set it up real quickly on a tripod and get an amazing shot out there. You'd be like, wow, that's beautiful. We just can't do that all the time. But uh, this is a great field with a great view and it's just a gorgeous day. So this is quite interesting. We're walking up the East Road and came across this building. Now when they're colored and, and shaped like this, you're pretty pretty safe guessing it's gonna be a school. This one actually has a sign on it that's a gift from the people of Japan. And there's a, there's a full school out here. Big open yard, multiple buildings. Every Reparto really needs to have its own school. Of course, it'd be very difficult to send kids somewhere else in the city. You'd have to bust them in and out, and, and it'd just be very hard. Kids need to be able to go home for lunch and all kinds of things. It's a lot more practical here, but uh, not expecting to stumble across one in the middle of nowhere. Now, it's no, its name is actually the Escuela Maria Mercedes Varela, so that it's just the one for the Reparto. But it does help us know where we are. Like, that is definitely the Reparto that we're in, uh, right on the building. Unfortunately, the school's sign faded away or washed away. It looks like centuries ago. That is a very old sign, but we have a beautiful, beautiful path we're walking up here.
You can see the stadium back there. We're now at the northeast corner of the Reparto uh, Mercedes Verrero. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Just said it so many times. And this is the southeastern wall of the Unan campus. So that is where we are. Uh, so I'm gonna come up to the corner here. You can see there's the, a lot of empty in this reparto. I mean, repartos imply that they're kind of suburban, that they're kind of out there. Uh, this one is a lot more rural. There's chickens running around all around me. Oh, we actually have a spot in this field I can walk up into. Sorry guys, we're, uh, we're heading up here. Let's see if I fall over as I climb this, like I did the other. Ooh. Okay, there's a path through this area. I think we know what the reparto is going to be like. Well, hold on. There's a horse. Okay, so this horse decided to come with us on a walk out here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so there's this path in this kind of field i guess but it leads to the new stadium so we're just taking it i don't i don't think we're supposed to be here but um what are they gonna do what are they gonna do the horse is here i mean i just followed the horse so i'm with him if we get in trouble we're him never fear him is here so this is unan that we're walking along here i have no idea how i'm gonna get back now this is a. Uh, this is interesting i'm very exposed out here Whew, not a sun no no shade anywhere to be found But, I mean, it's always an adventure when I bring you guys along, my little camera people. He's still on the path. We're just following him. He's, he's keeping his distance. He's skittish, but he has things he wants to show me. A little path here, who knows where that goes. There's always paths. People walk a lot of places. Uh, so a lot of times people find shortcuts to things and just go places. And so you'll often find footpaths that people have created just anywhere. And you're like, oh, it goes to like a pulperia out on the road or something. Something funny. All right, we're getting really close to the stadium. This is fantastic. We've seen it from the road a lot. We've done some videos over the walls a while ago. They've done a lot more construction on it since the last time we did a video. So this area, so we're coming up. This is where this reparto, well, that really ended. And then Unan is kind of its own thing. And then the stadium is really, as far as I know, in uh, Colonia Universidad, which makes sense that it's called that. This is where all the universities are. The university is probably in that too. Uh, that's where the highway cuts through. So we're very, very close to a lot of places that we've filmed in the past. Very close to the Uno gas station. Very close to, uh, we're right behind the Parque uh, Ruben Dario. The big city park with the fountains and the lions. This is a big path that I'm on. Like we gotta show them. All right, we're leaving our horsey friend behind. Oh, oh, he's pooping. That was it, he was shy. Bathroom shy, it happens to all of us. No one wants to have to do that out in the field where everybody's watching. He wanted a dark, under-treed spot to hide away. But, uh, all right, we're getting so close to the stadium, we gotta show this as we come up on it, because this is great. Hopefully we got some great views of the stadium i have no idea if we can see anything but it's very hard to get a look in there so very interesting that we're able to see that very cool now we seem to be coming along i think the north edge of the unan campus so there's the field we were just in here's this now unfortunately this road kind of turns into a big flaming dumpster fire I really hate that you go out for a beautiful walk, you're out in the country, it's gorgeous, and there's just trash. Like, actually the big pile of trash is not nearly as bad as the little bits of trash that end up all over the place. There's just always trash, which when first when people first come here, you notice it and you, you mention it constantly. Over time, you do get conditioned to it a little bit, and we forget just how much there is, but places like this, like you'll be doing great. You'll be out here, it's almost completely green. You're like, great, this is beautiful, and then, Oh, oh, right, that's pretty extreme, but 
it's unfortunate. I'm not not 100% sure where we are, but this road seems to be going somewhere. There's street lights up in front of us. We gotta be going See? somewhere. <laughs> okay, I just climbed through a little break in the trees. Ooh, okay. You don't wanna see me, you wanna see this. This is Unan campus from the inside. You can see a number of people walking around in some of the outskirt areas, but uh, it's really quite quiet in here. I would have expected a lot more people like, I don't know, running around or doing something. But uh, this is neat. I've never been on the campus before. So that's something, something very different. This part of the campus has big buildings. So much of what you see in other places is so small that it's, I feel like as an American, you're often like, that's the university, but it's just like some outlying office buildings or something. This is like part of the real campus with the big, like clearly university buildings with the big university grounds. And it's really beautiful and has stuff. And you can tell like there's air conditioning everywhere. It's not some like outdoor hut, you know, it's like a real university with real classrooms and all kinds of stuff uh, and, and big like, uh, bleacher areas and all kinds of stuff. And these are not the main fields. This is just some, some place for people to exercise and go for walks or whatever, but really interesting. Um, not really supposed to be in here. So I'm sure, I'm sure there's some flexibility and I can see the road. I think that's the main road to Guadalupe, but I'm not sure. Not a hundred percent sure where I am. Try not to look at the map. Just having fun exploring. Let's head back to the little dirt road. Okay, so we're back on the dirt road. And right here is the edge of the stadium. I don't know if you can see it. This is the corner of the stadium. And then right next to it, this is one of the new Unan buildings. This is one of the nice air conditioned, all glass, like campus buildings that looks really nice from the road. And then these are new street lights. They're even on, they're LED street lights. So they're just solar powered. So they're all on, like I guess all the time. You just don't notice in the middle of the day. But so this is a really nice, beautiful, new part of the campus that they've just extended it by putting this new building in. So that must be the Carretera on the other side of it. We've got to be right on the edge. I didn't know it was this deep. This is quite a large building. I think they're still doing construction and there's actually security in the road in front of me. So we'll see what that is, but very interesting what we have found here. You can kind of see them back there. There's a lot of modern buildings. They're not the ones I was thinking though. I think that's just up in front of us. So I'm not sure which part of the campus this is. I'm sure we'll figure it out on a map, but that was security in the road, stopping people who are coming to work as far as I can tell to search their bags. Interesting that there's that kind of security out here in the midst of what is basically the university zone. I don't even know how to get back to my car from here. No idea where I am, <laughs> but, uh, this has been a fun walk. I'm enjoying this. My battery's getting low. This is perfect. I've been turning off the camera enough that it has not overheated, knock on wood. Uh, but we only have so much battery left, which implies we got a pretty good bit of footage for you guys. Oh, check this out. There's like a, like a shaded walkway up here. So we've got like a, I don't know, like a roof. It's an open air. I don't know what that's called. That, that goes around. There's people like on a big circle walking around. That's beautiful. What a neat neat way to get around campus. You do get a lot of rain here, right? You got to be really aware if you're going to have outdoor anything, you got to have some kind of cover or people are not going to be able to use it when it rains. I want to get the other side of this road. This is another part of campus. You can see some buses and you can see some big buildings, but it's an area that's gated. So I can't really go in too easily. Sometimes maybe I can get a tour of Unan. I know some people who go to Unan. Maybe I'll get them to give me a tour and show around a little bit. It's really amazing that the camera has not overheated because I am drenched in sweat. Like I am seriously drenched. It is hot, but I'm dressed for it, prepared. It's been good. We are just coming back out to the road. So we're out to an area that I do know a little bit. I've got to head back over to where my car is and uh, wrap it up to the, for the day. But thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know, get down those comments. Let me, let me know what you think of these barrio walks, any specific barrio walks that you're looking for. Uh, here we go, got the, got the sign here. And the battery died right as we got to the front of Unan, but we were just about back to the car and it worked out perfectly. We're going to take a real quick snapshot and show you some new uh, construction that's going on, a new um, store with uh, drinks and stuff, They like super modern with modern bus stops that they're doing right at Unan, and we're going to be right back. We're just grabbing a real quick video up here. I'm up at the northwest corner of Unan, and I want to point out there's a beautiful brand new office that just went up in the corner, very modern, and these appear to be brand new bus stops they're putting in right now. This is new concrete being poured 
And uh, traditionally, we have these small bus stops we have all over the country. These are beautiful new modern bus stops being put in at the campus. I just wanted to grab this because it's going in today. They've been out here doing concrete the whole time I've been working on the videos out here. It's just a uh, nice bit of work they're doing. Wanted to show it off. All right, thanks for thanks for joining us today on this fun walk. Tomorrow we're gonna to be doing another Barrio Walk or Reparto that is just west of this one. We're heading over to the Barrio uh, Thomas Borges Martinez, uh, Primero Etapa, which is the first stage of a new development. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but that's its name. And uh, we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Uh, so look for that if you enjoy these Barrio Walks. And if you don't, still watch it and like and subscribe and do all this stuff because it supports the show. So go ahead, like and subscribe on today's. Get down in those comments. Let us know what you think about today's show. How does it look? We got, finally got the circular polarizer back on after forever without it. I don't know how I got so lazy about that. And um, uh, share with friends and family. Of course, post on social media. If you like to support the show, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott L. Miller. If you're looking for support in moving to Nicaragua or anything of the sort, hit us up at info at relocatenicaragua.com. We can help you with short-term apartments, something new that we're doing, tours, just consulting, calls, whatever. We will see all of you tomorrow.